Hey, Kids World and Epic Kids. I'm so excited you've joined me today. We're going to read Psalm 95 together. So open your Bibles. Right there in the center, you'll come to the Psalms, and I'm going to read this with you. Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before him with thanksgiving and extol him with music and song. For the Lord is the great God, the great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth, and the mountain peaks belong to him. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands formed the dry land. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, the flock under his care. Today, if only you would hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as you did at Meribah, as you did that day at Manasseh in the wilderness, where your ancestors tested me. They tried me, though they had seen what I did. For 40 years, I was angry with that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they have not known my ways. So I declared an oath in my anger, they shall never enter my rest. Now take a few moments and write down in your journal some words or some thoughts that you have. Those are some big, strong words in that psalm. One of the things I like to do is I print out the psalm that I'm studying, and then I take my markers and I color in or I highlight certain words. Like here, I've highlighted all the words for God. I drew a box around the word extol. I'm not really sure what that means, so I can look it up later or I can ask someone if they could help me to understand that. I highlighted or underlined all of the angry words that God said when he was angry at the people who had gone astray. I can take a, a color and I can highlight where it was that God was speaking so that I understand what are the words of God, what are the words of the psalmist. So a fun way for you to be able to look at the verse sometimes is to print it out and to get out some markers and to color and mark it up so it helps you to remember and to observe those things that you've read. You'll see repeating words and phrases and things that are interesting and stand out to you. Then you can take that paper and you can just fold it and put it right inside your journal. You can also write out the whole psalm by hand and then do that same thing and have that right there in your journal. Well, thanks for reading along with me today. You are epic.